This will sound very strange, but on July 6, 2021, a New York City police officer removed a swarm of 25,000 bees from Times Square in Manhattan. And this was a prophecy that is predicting that is predicting that an explosion will occur on December 7, 2022. It will be a major event. The explosion will likely be a dirty bomb. However, it could be something else such as a nuclear bomb. It will likely occur in Manhattan. It is also likely that the official narrative in the mainstream media that will emerge regarding this event will somehow be a lie. The date that this video is posted proves that this prediction was made ahead of time, as does this timestamped email and forensic notes PDF. If you are skeptical, please email me and I will forward these to you. It is predicted that there will be an explosion in Manhattan on December 7th, 2022. I believe it will likely occur in Times Square. Times Square is known as the crossroads of the world. When this bomb goes off in Manhattan, it will symbolize judgment on the world. In the book of Ezekiel in the Bible, the number 25,000 is used 14 times in context as the main dimensional number of the Temple Mount and the rebuilt temple in which Lord Jesus Christ will dwell in in the 1,000 years of the Messianic Age of Peace after his second coming in 2024. On July 6, 2021, a New York police officer removed 25,000 bees from the crossroads of the world, Times Square. The number 250 hints at 25,000. This here isn't the only example of God using the number 250 in his big picture of prophetic signs as symbolism for the number 25,000. Exactly 250 days after 25,000 bees were removed from Times Square were the prophetic explosion signs that were predicted to occur in advance that occurred on March 13, 2022. This video was originally produced before March 13, 2022. God's true big picture of signs, patterns, and connections was overwhelmingly pointing to March 13, 2022 as being extremely important in the trail of signs that are leading to the day that a dirty bomb will explode in Manhattan. Given this knowledge regarding March 13, 2022, it was therefore assumed that March 13 would be the day of this dirty bomb explosion in Manhattan. Instead, March 13th ended up being a major important step in the trail of signs that is leading to the day of the predicted dirty bomb explosion in Manhattan. From the Bible, a goat is antichrist symbolism. In pop culture, the term goat is an acronym that stands for greatest of all time. God pairs the numbers 23 and 44 together to confirm the signs and connections and to reveal the identity of the goat antichrist, the 44th president, the basketball president that wore jersey number 23 when he played basketball in high school. On March 13th, the 44-year-old goat of football, Tom Brady, announced with a tweet that he would return in the autumn for a 23rd season of football which was exactly 23 weeks after the prophetic Return of the Goat football game in October 2021, which is explained in the absolute must-watch Seinfeld New York City bombing prophecy video. On this same day, the 44th president, the Goat Antichrist, announced with a tweet that he had COVID. This was 23 days before he returned to the White House for the first time since he left. This communicated that the GOAT Antichrist, the 44th president, who wore jersey number 23, will return as president to the White House this autumn, just as the 44-year-old GOAT of football will return for a 23rd season this autumn. I'm just going to repeat this to make sure that it is perfectly clear. 
The GOAT Antichrist is the 44th president that wore jersey number 23, and on March 13th, he tweeted about having COVID, which was 23 days before he returned to the White House. And also on March 13th, the 44-year-old GOAT of football, greatest of all time, tweeted that he would return for a 23rd season. And this was exactly 23 weeks after the extremely prophetic return of the GOAT football game, in which he returned with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to Boston to play his former team, the Patriots. This was exactly 23 weeks before March 13th, and exactly 23 days after March 13th was the day that Barack Obama returned to the White House for the first time. This communicated that the GOAT Antichrist, the 44th president, who wore jersey number 23, will return as president to the White House this autumn. Just as the 44-year-old GOAT of football will return for a 23rd season this autumn. God pairs the numbers 9 and 23 together in order to confirm the signs and connections and to reveal the identity of the Antichrist, the basketball president that wore jersey number 23 when he played basketball in high school and became president in 2009. God pairs 9 and 23 together to confirm the signs and connections, and this is why Barack Obama will return to the White House with Michelle Obama exactly nine months after the GOAT of football announced a return for a 23rd season. Exactly nine months after March 13th will be December 13th, and the date it is predicted that Michelle Obama will become the 47th president. Another reason for the prophetic relevance of this exact nine months connection from March 13th to December 13th is that nine months symbolizes a human gestation period. When asked by his disciples for the signs to look for of his return, Jesus replied with the metaphor of birth pains. Obama returned to the White House to celebrate the ninth anniversary of his Obamacare nationalized health care. God pairs the numbers 9 and 23 together in order to confirm the signs and connections and to reveal the identity of the Antichrist, the basketball president that wore jersey number 23 when he played basketball in high school and became president in 2009. This is why he celebrated the ninth anniversary of his nationalized health care 23 days after he announced that he had COVID. On the same day that the 44-year-old GOAT of football announced his return in the autumn for a 23rd season, and the 44th president announced that he had COVID 23 days before he returned to the White House, were the expected prophetic explosion signs on March 13th. The GOAT of football wears jersey number 12, and on March 13th, 2022, 12 rockets exploded outside the U.S. consulate in Iraq. This attack on the U.S. consulate was a major news story that involved Israel and Iran. Also, on March 13th, rockets exploded in Ukraine right at the border with Poland, where U.S. operatives were training Ukrainians for war. Prior to these rocket explosions, Russia warned the U.S. that these were legitimate targets. This border with Poland represents the boundary with NATO-allied countries, and NATO is essentially a U.S. organization. In other words, these 12 rockets that exploded outside of the U.S. consulate in Iraq and these rocket explosions on the border with Poland were both prophetic judgment warning signs on America. The explosions in Ukraine were also hinting at the source of the plutonium in the upcoming predicted dirty bomb explosion. The source of this plutonium will be from Ukraine. The date March 13th is 313 and 3 divided by 13 equals 0 0.230. This is the only date that can hint at the number 23 like this. 
God pairs the numbers 9 and 23 together to confirm the signs and connections, which is one reason why the predicted date for the upcoming dirty bomb explosion in Manhattan, New York City, will be on December 7th, which is exactly 90 plus 90 plus 90 days after March 13th, which is an emphasis of the number 9, which is the most important number in God's true big picture of signs, patterns, and connections, as from the Bible, the number 9 symbolizes God's judgment. The date March 13th hints at 0 0.23, and on this March 13th date, the GOAT of football announced a return for a 23rd season on the same day as these prophetic explosion signs. And this is why the upcoming Dirty Bomb explosion will be 90 plus 90 plus 90 days after this March 13th date and the day of the GOAT's tweet regarding his return for a 23rd season. As a result of the chaos and crisis after this upcoming dirty bomb explosion that is predicted for December 7th, the GOAT Antichrist will return to the White House and become the president again. The upcoming dirty bomb explosion will be a key part in the rise of the Antichrist and his return this autumn to the White House. Furthermore, this is why exactly 50 weeks prior to the explosions on March 13th were the prophetic church bomb explosions in Indonesia. As explained in other videos, 50 weeks connections symbolize the church. The Feast of Pentecost symbolizes the church. Pentecost literally means 50th day. Pentecost is also known as the Feast of Weeks. Hence why God uses 50 weeks connections between judgment warning signs for the church. Furthermore, 50 weeks is 350 days. And the 350th word in Strong's Greek New Testament concordance is the word meaning to investigate, examine, inquire into, scrutinize, sift, question, to judge of, estimate, determine the excellence or defects of any person or thing, as in the church which in turn was preceded by exactly 23 weeks to the explosion in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Obama grew up in Indonesia. He will persecute the church and will replace Kamala Harris after she will die in a plane crash explosion on December 6th. Prior to this Harrisonburg, Virginia explosion on October 17th, 2020, an explosion was predicted to occur on this date because of prophetic connections to Harrison Ford, who is known for and has had prophetic aviation mishaps. Likewise, an explosion was predicted to occur on March 28, 2021, the day of the church bombing explosions in Indonesia, because of this 23 weeks connection. The Harrisonburg, Virginia explosion sign was preceded by exactly 23 months, with the prophetic 44 Sailors Argentine Submarine Explosion sign, which hinted at the 44th president that wore jersey number 23 when he played basketball in high school in Hawaii. And this 44 Sailors sign was in turn exactly 44 weeks after the infamous false missile alert in Hawaii. Again, God pairs the numbers 9 and 23 together, in order to confirm the signs and connections and to reveal the identity of the Antichrist, the basketball president that wore jersey number 23 when he played basketball in high school and became president in 2009. Also, March 13th, 2022 was exactly 23 months after the prophetic rainbow over Manhattan that stretched perfectly between the two iconic towers of Manhattan, the Empire State Building and the One World Tower, which hinted at the twin towers that collapsed on 9-11, during the peak of COVID in Manhattan during the lockdown, and just a few days prior to this, it was reported that the death toll from coronavirus had surpassed that of 9-11. In turn, the prophetic rainbow over Manhattan was exactly nine months 
which symbolized the birth pains of the beginning of the end times period that Jesus spoke about after the extremely prophetic Manhattan blackout on the day of Hurricane Barry, which was known for the blackout power outages that it engendered. In his autobiography, Dreams from My Father, Obama said that changing his name from Barry to Barack symbolizes who he is today. Hurricane Barry and the Manhattan blackout was in turn exactly 923 months after the Manhattan Project officially began. The Manhattan Project was the code name for the covert government operation to develop the first atomic bomb, which is why the Manhattan Project connects through an extremely prophetic trail of signs to the day that a dirty bomb will explode in Manhattan. Aliens and UFOs are demons masquerading as aliens and UFOs for the gullible that will believe it because they don't have a solid biblical worldview. Most people's spiritual experiences are demonic deception, especially if they are not a true follower of Christ. The New Age or New Spirituality or Consciousness Religion is evil deception from Satan. Satan and demons will give Catholics and New Agers spiritual experiences that they think confirm for them their beliefs. But these spiritual experiences are demonic deception for those that refuse to love the truth and so be saved. There is a spiritual reality behind the material world that we see. The wages for sin is death. Sin means to miss the mark. No one is good, all have sinned. Because of sin, people are captives of the ruler of this world, Satan. People's souls belong to Satan, whose power over people is death. God took the form of a man, Jesus Christ, and paid the ransom that is owed to the ruler of this world. Through Christ's death and resurrection, he defeated sin and he overcame Satan's power in death. It is through Christ and his spirit that it is possible for everyone to be forgiven of their sin and we can have eternal life if we choose it. We can choose to follow Jesus out of captivity from sin and Satan. Or we can choose to reject this and remain a slave to this world, sin and to Satan. If one rejects Jesus Christ, after they die, they will pay the price for their sin in hell, and then they will die the second death and their soul will cease to exist. Believing in Christ means much more than simple intellectual agreement. It means to repent of sin and completely commit one's life and become a willing slave to Jesus and his kingdom. Jesus said we need to be born again, which implies a death of the self and a death to this world. Believing in Jesus implies living out one's faith through taking action that typically involves risk and sacrifice. This demonstration of faith through action is what it means to have faith and to believe in Jesus. Some Christians will tell you otherwise, but they are deceived and they ignore countless passages in the Bible. Please leave a like and upvote the video. And once this prediction has come to pass, share this video with everyone you know and more. Don't stop sharing it everywhere in social media. It is essential that everyone immediately read the homepage of my website, trumpprediction.com.